Yeah, uh, um, to consolidate this new knowledge, right, about the electric flux, I would like to solve one example. So this is something that we did already, right, in the in the previous lectures. And I'm going to solve this problem here. Let's consider that you have one one particle, right, right here, and this particle has charge, the positive charge. Charge uh, BQ and you are interested in calculating the electrical field of this charge in a particular point in space, right? Remember this electrical field is a three dimensional is three dimensional. Uh, the first thing that you have to do, you have to choose something that we call the Gaussian su surface. In this case, the, gaze, the Gaussian surface is represented here, dashed orange line. Yep. And that means for every every infinitesimal elemental area that you have here, right, the normal vector is going to be radial. Remember that the field is three dimensional, and we have the normal vector here. All right, this is actually in the radial direction that means in this case here this kind of problems let me in this case here the electrical field is going to be actually parallel these elements of area here Is, and both of them, of course, are in the radial direction. At, at my head, head direction. And this parallel, that means that the, the angle between them is zero degrees, right? This implies that the cosine degrees for one, and we can actually write this element, the flux, right, for this infinitesimal meant there as the this product here the magnitude of the electrical field and by this as my element of air if you wanna if you are interested in calculate the total flux here right the, the the net flux you just have to integrate that over this surface uh, the electric field here is constant right guys so that means we can put this outside integral so let's go by by here and of course this integral here is going to give me the area and since this is a very very uh, simple geometry right the area a sphere Wait, second 
scared. Can write this. You can write this here. here. Where? And we also know that the, this field here, or um, that field, or a positive charge, or positive. By, by. By this, one. And the electric flux, particular case, you divide by base epsilon zero. Oh, that kind of. Easy. What is the significance here, guys? Well, first of all, you can see that actually the electric electric flux for for this for this particular problem is independent of the 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 distance. Or no matter the distance, it only depends on the the charge and depends on the permittivity of the space. And actually, you can say that. The, the primitivity constant we can say that flux here for this actually correctly okay interesting now let's see what happens just just as a proof this is just an exercise to prove what we said before about the electric flux that actually the electric flux is directly has some kind of dependency right with the 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 charge that means if in this case here instead of putting like a charge that has a charge u you have like the you double this charge and what is going to happen in this case or this what is going to have happen with the flux in this case the flux Double as well since all these line is equal to U. Down here, if we divide this, if you calculate the ratio between these two. Five. Me. You. Guys. That that means. Yeah. This is. That's one way to prove that if you increase the charge, it's going to increase also the electric. 
person say that the metric works even the graphically say that number of lines That means we're going to electrical flux is going to increase here. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Let's uh, solve another. Oh. This example here, we're going to consider like five, <laughs> five charges, five charges, and remember since the the electric flux is a scalar we can consider individually right the effect of this charge what what, what is the flux generated by uh, each one of these charges and then uh, adding it up at the end and analytically speaking since this is a scalar right since flux is a scalar I'm going to say I'm going to say that and I'm deadly sure about that that this total flux or the net flux is going to be the summation of every single every single particle going to call. Second particle one doesn't matter the order here. Let's say this is one, two, four, and five. And as long this distance here, I I choose the the Gaussian surface right to be be really really greater than the distance be among those charges. It's okay, no problem. It's not going to give any particular problem. So. Remember this, I'm choosing this. Maybe matter not. The Gaussian surface here. And well, you know, right? We calculated. We can use the result from the previous example here. We know that one part, one individual charge in space is going to generate electrical field, uh, like a flux that is going to a this direction here. We can actually copy. We can generalize for this case here. Advantage of this result. And then that means that this is going to be uh, all for four, five. This is over zero. Right, and you can generalize this guys, right? You can you can say that this is net flux here in this particular case. Going to be the summation. For one five 
Wow. Okay, what we see here that if you want to calculate the flux, all you have to do, guys, for is actually sum. You have to sum up all the charges that are enclosed inside that particular surface, right? That we call Gaussian surface. That's a very re remarkable result. Very, very remarkable result. And for example, if you have this summation here, one, one, another, another comment, comment here. If this summation, right, if the is neutral, for example, if this summation here is all these charts, this is zero. So that means you have no flux. You have no flux. Flux is zero. Very interesting. How okay, this example is done. What you have to take care of here, my friends, is actually uh, something else. I'm going to talk later, but before we go to the next uh, next topic, I'm going to solve like one problem from the book so to make to show you how to operate for for this part, how to calculate the flux for different kinds of surfaces. Okay, just a minute.